Hello friends, today we are going to study about DFS and BFS on a binary tree. DFS is depth first search and BFS is breadth first search. So let's see. So this is BFS and this example is for DFS. So in BFS in a binary tree connected to a node we check all connections at one time. And in DFS, we check only one connection at one time. So let us see what is the difference. So the root A, I will put this root A in Q. We use Q for BFS. So I have put A in the Q. Then go for all the connections of A. So it is the left child of A and right child of A. That is B and C. So let's go. Now when you put B and C that is all connections of A left and right child of A in the queue you have to dequeue A and go ahead in the queue. So now we will go to B. So what, what are all, all connections of B? It is B and E. So put B and E in the queue. That is NQ, B and E. So as we have enqueued all the connections, we will dequeue B. Then the next element is C in the queue. What are all the connections? F and G. So I will NQ. So now DQC. So whatever you are going to DQ, you have to write it in the answer. So now uh, it's turn of D. So D what is the connection of D? That is H. Now DQD. So this is the BFS. Now let's go ahead. So this is the answer. I am putting all the elements in the answer now. So E F G H. Now what are uh, now go for E. So what are the connections of E? I and J. So D, Q, E. What are the connections of F? No connection of F. So D, Q, F. What are the connections of G? It is K. D, Q, G. Then what are the connections of H? No connection of H, so DQH directly. What are the connections of I? No connection, so DQJ has no connection, so DQJ. K has no connection, so DQK. Right? This is your BFS. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Means A, B, C, B, E, F, G and H, I, J, K. This means breadth first search. So, which is why it is called breadth. Because it goes in level order. Let's check DFS now. So, this is the example for DFS. So, in DFS, we have to check one connection at one time. This means for example, A has left child and right child. So you have to go with only one child at one time. So A's left child is B. Now you have to start exploring B. Means you have to go in depth. Like A then B, B's left child is D, B's left child is H. So in this way, you have to go in depth. Which is why it is called as depth first search. Now let's solve this example so, so that you can get a better insight. So 
let's push a into this stack we use stack for dfs so i have pushed a into the stack whenever i push one element i have to write it in the answer that is the dfs order so i have pushed a in the stack a has two connections one is b and c you can either go with left child or right child so in this case i will choose the left child that is b so i will push b as i push i have to write it in the uh, answer so there is one more thing i have a visited array so the visited array, array means whenever i push the element into the stack i have to put it in the visited array this means i have visited that node so i have uh, i have put the elements a and b into the visited array now what is the left child of b that is d so push b and write it in the answer and the visited array now h the left child of d is h write it in the answer put it in visited array now there is no connection of h here so we return so this means if there is no connection of the element just pop the element from the stack so i have popped the element from the stack now always check for connection of top element top element in the stack so now after popping this what is the top element top element is d so let's see so this is d now what is the connection of d now this connection is h so should we go again for h no so we keep this trace in this visited array so we check h in the visited array and we find that yes it is already visited so we ignore this connection and we check for other connections of d but d has only one connection and that is h which is already visited so we go back which means we pop d so d is popped now the top element is b so here is b so b's connection is d and e d is already visited so i go for e now so i push e and write it in the answer then the left connection of e is i i push i and write it in the answer so both i should write it in the visited array now h doesn't have any i doesn't have any connection so i pop i so i have popped i now the next element is e so check e e's connection is i but it is already visited so the other connection is j so go for j now j doesn't have any connection so when i pushed j i have to write j here and in the uh, visited array now i will check for connections of j j doesn't have any connection so i go back that is i pop j then e e has two connections i and j but it has already been visited so go back that is pop e now what is the top element top element is b now so check b its connections are already over then uh, go back that means we pop d we come to a a has connection b but it is already visited so we go for c now so push c now as i push i write it in the answer and i write it in the visited array now c's left connection is f let's write it in visited array also now i push f so f doesn't have any connection so pop f then c c has 
the remaining connection is G now so I push G and write it in the answer now for G there is no left connection there is a right connection so I push K this is the stack so I push K and write it in the answer and the visited array so I have pushed K now it has no connections so pop K now G G doesn't have any alive connections because it has a connection K but it has already been visited so we pop G then come to C the top element is C now so C doesn't have any alive connections so we pop C and come to A A doesn't have any alive connection because all are visited the connections of A are already visited so we pop A as the stack is empty we are done with our DFS so this is how the code works for DFS and this is a similar uh, approach uh, as the pre-order traversal so now we will see the code for BFS and DFS so let's see the pseudo code now so this is the pseudo code for uh, BFS and DFS so for BFS we use a queue here and these are the functions NQ and DQ for inserting the element and remove the, removing the element from the queue and this is empty function returns 1 if your queue is empty and 0 if the queue is not empty so in this while loop we DQ first so as we have enqueued the root first we DQ that root so for example we have enqueued A so we DQ this and we print this in the answer then we check for its left node that is B and we enqueue it then we check for its right node so its right node is C and we enqueue it and we go uh, and we go further in the while loop so this continues till the uh, queue is empty so for example now what will happen it will DQ B it will DQ B and its left and right will be inserted that is B and E then again it will DQ C and its left and right will be inserted that is F and G now all of them do, don't have left and right so these conditions will not satisfy so for all the remaining while loops these things will be DQ'd so the answer will be printed as A B C D E F G and when the queue is empty it will come out of the while loop you can get the full code at github vivekanand 44 so now and for DFS you can see this is the same code as pre-order traversal which we have seen in the previous video if you have not seen that video you can see that video on my channel the name is traversals in binary tree so now for DFS this is a recursive code and it uses the stack but the stack is uh, in the compiler means it uses the stack of this function function stack so now so if root means we first uh, pass a to this function so uh, then if a means it is not null so it will go inside if we will print a then the left of a that is b then again we have called dfs so again it will take left of b that is d again it will call dfs so d is, is null so it will go to the right right of b that is e and further so it will go back and then c f 
edge and if you have seen my uh, previous video then you will understand this code very well so these these two are the codes which are available on github vivekanand 44 so this was for dfs and bfs thank you hey friends please subscribe to my channel as i post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below thank you